we want to find the derivative of f of x equals inverse hyperbolic cosecant x raised to the second power. So the first thing we should recognize is that f of x is a composite function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule in order to find our derivative. And when applying the chain rule, it's important that we recognize which function is the inner function and which function is the outer function. For our function, the inner function is the inverse hyperbolic cosecant function here, and the outer function is the squaring function. Which means in order to find our derivative, we'll have to apply the general power rule given here. Notice how this general power rule includes the chain rule, where the inner function is equal to u, and therefore the derivative of u to the n with respect to x has two parts, where the first part is equal to the derivative of the outer function, evaluated at the inner function, and the second part, u prime, is equal to the derivative of the inner function. So again, going back to our function, since this is the inner function, we'll let this be equal to u. So if u is equal to inverse hyperbolic cosecant of x, then we can think of our function as just u to the second, and then apply our general power rule. But notice how we'll also have to find u prime, so let's go ahead and find that now. To find u prime, we'll have to use this derivative formula here. And notice how this derivative formula does include the chain rule, but in this case, u would be equal to x, and therefore u prime would be equal to one, so our function doesn't require the chain rule. So u prime would be equal to negative one divided by the absolute value of x times the square root of one plus x squared. So our derivative f prime of x is equal to the derivative of u squared with respect to x, so we're gonna multiply by the exponent, that would be two times u to the first, but u is equal to inverse hyperbolic cosecant of x times u prime, which we found here, is negative one divided by the absolute value of x times the square root of one plus x squared. So again, notice how we've applied the chain rule, where this part is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, and the second part is the derivative of the inner function. Let's go ahead and clean this up. F prime of x is equal to two times negative one, that's negative two times one factor of inverse hyperbolic cosecant of x. And the denominator would be the absolute value of x times the square root of one plus x squared. So this would be our derivative function. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.